Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and today I'll be shooting this video outside. So if you hear any bird sounds or my hair blowing, that's the reason. <laughs> so let's get started with the video. Today's video is going to be about the banking advisor position at the brand. Some places call this position a personal banker or a financial advisor, depending on which bank you're applying to. So this job is a sales job and I will be describing to you guys some of the interview questions that they're going to be asking you and the way to answer it um, because I have been a banking advisor for the past year and a half and I did pass the interview successfully so I can tell you guys exactly what they're looking for and what are the questions that they might ask you. So banking advisor is a sales position so they will be asking you a lot of questions in regards to sales so you got to be prepared to answer those. I'm going to start with one of the hardest questions that kind of threw me off um, just so you guys can prepare for this specific question. I know that I did not expect this question and I didn't know that there would be a trick way to answer this question. So the question is sell me this pen. So when I went to the office um, the person who was interviewing me gave me a pen and they're like okay so as a sales advisor sell me this pen so like it was kind of like a role play where I, the, the person interviewing me was the person that was the client and i had to try to sell this pen to the client so normally you would think that i can just talk about like how good the ink of the pen is and stuff like that but actually that's not correct the right way to answer this question is by actually asking questions back so it's one of those trick questions because as an advisor at the bank, when clients come to your office, you don't just sell them the products. You don't just go, um, so this is the product that you should buy. No, you usually start off by asking them questions. So you ask them, well, what kind of, you know, what kind of product are you looking for? What have you used before? What's your experience with it, right? So for the pen question, you gotta start by asking questions back. So the perfect answer would be to say, well, what kind of pen do you usually use? Um, what's important to you in a pen? And then after you ask all of those discovery questions, then you can start talking about the key highlights of the pen. So that was a trick question and usually um, managers or hiring people ask this question to throw people off because um, you could get confused and answer it in a totally different way and at the same time get nervous when you can see in their face that you're not answering the question properly. Another question that I'm just going to start off with the harder ones and then I'll tell you guys some of the basic questions. Another one that I found a little bit tricky was they asked me, tell me a situation uh, where you had to deal with a challenge and how did you overcome it? So again, this is a sales job. So you would want to talk about talk more about sales because that's what they're looking for. So the perfect answer for this question, I told them that, you know, um, at my previous job, at the beginning and if you didn't have a sales job before that's perfectly fine you can answer the question based on whatever experience you had and you can talk about how you dealt with that challenge for example if you had a customer service job you can say that oh at the beginning the challenge for me was to not get work into my emotions because I had a lot of clients who would you know, come in and yell and get frustrated and at the beginning for me that was a challenge because I took it personally but as I gained the experience throughout the years I learned to how to handle that in a better way and I learned how to keep the customer calm so that they're willing to listen to me. So for me specifically just because I did do a sales job before um, I talked about the challenge for me which was getting meeting those sales targets and I also asked you like um, well, if you have a sales target, a monthly sales target, how are you going to reach those targets? So the same way for that question, you can answer this by saying that if I don't meet the sales targets, I'm going to make sure that I try my best to find op the opportunities, whether it's through calling people, whether it's through um, at a bank, you do something called retailing. Basically, you get out of your office and you talk to walk-in clients. So the clients that walk into the branch, you ask them, hey, how can I help you? What are you here for today? And by spending some time outside in the branch area, you can actually find potential opportunities. So you can talk about that. You can say that um, I, I try my best to make a lot of phone calls and outside my office to walk around and see if there's any clients who are looking for anything. Um, 
also um there's bank tellers usually at the branch so all right guys i had to cut that part my mom just came in randomly even though i told her that i'm shooting a video but i don't know why he will keep coming outside i guess because it's lovely weather and nobody wants to be inside <laughs> anyways so as i was saying at the branch there's the tellers and there's the advisors right so if you're the advisor um another thing you can mention that you can do in order to get more opportunities is you can actually go and jump to the teller desk and try to help clients over there like just because you're not a teller doesn't mean you can't go and you know um, do the teller job for some time just to get some more clients because as you can as you know tellers see about 300 people every day doing transactions so by going to the teller and actually trying to help out the tellers you can pick up opportunities so that's another thing you can say for ways you can meet your targets and you know build that client relationship so that brings me to the next topic which is client relationship for banking advisor or personal banker position they're really looking for answers that revolve around building that client relationship so you really got to talk about how you're gonna make clients how are you gonna bring business to the to the bank and you gotta mention that it's not all about sales that it's also about the advice piece and that's something so crucial guys if you if you mention that you you don't just push people for sales but you actually discover the client ask questions and find opportunities by getting to know the client and providing good advice that would be very impressive and they will definitely be very impressed by your answer so you could say something like providing advice leads to building those relationships and getting ongoing business um, so that's a good way to answer that question another question i wanted to bring up is um, how do you go above and beyond uh, which is a question that somebody actually commented on my previous video and they asked me how to answer that question that's actually a good question because this was actually asked in the banking advisor position interview however it could also be asked in many other interviews so if they ask you tell me a situation where you went above and beyond for a client so for this question they're looking for three parts so they're looking for the initial how you dealt with the client so you could say like well i began by apologizing to the client keeping them calm staying calm myself and having them listen to what i'm trying to tell them right so that's the first step then you can talk about the second step of how you fix that issue so you could say well the client was mad because somebody paid the wrong bill he was very frustrated i initially met the client's needs by fixing that mistake and then you got to talk about how you went beyond so you can't just talk about how you fix the mistake because they're not looking for that basic answer you got to talk about how you went beyond and by beyond you could say something that like um, think about like if you go somewhere to a restaurant and you know like somebody does something to you that you remember till this day that is a beyond experience so for example my answer what i told them was you know it was around five o'clock the branch was closing the client came last minute and i went beyond by staying after work and actually calling that other department to try to make sure that the client is happy and this issue is resolved and another thing i did was i also noticed that there was an opportunity for the client because they were paying high interest rates on a credit card and they had another offer and i actually offered that to the client and the client was very surprised that no one had told them that and they ended up being very happy and instead of them being angry at the beginning it turned around the whole situation and the client left very happy and wanted to continue doing business with us so that would be the perfect answer for that question lastly i just wanted to talk about one more thing which is role play guys at the bank interviews usually role plays are very common because you do need to meet clients and talk to them so they expect you to be confident and you're able to speak to clients properly so they might do a lot of role plays where they might ask you like okay i'm the client and you're the advisor so they, they might do role play as in like okay um so you have to sell me this account um, how are you going to describe the features of this account to the client? How are you going to convince the client to bank with us? Stuff like that. So make sure you're confident with the role plays. What I did was I usually like, like to practice in front of the mirror before an interview or ask my siblings to interview me just to make sure that I'm not nervous when that situation does come up. All right, guys. So that would be all for this video. If you guys have any questions, um, 
please comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And if you want to know more about the specific job and the duties and what you do as a banking advisor, I could also post another video where I talk about what we do as a banking advisor. And also I wanted to mention guys, make sure you subscribe if you like this video because I will be posting more videos in terms of jobs at the bank in general and some other things. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I do have to meet the 1000 subscriber target for YouTube to uh, let me uh, monetize and let me um, get those views. So I would really appreciate you guys' support, likes and subscribe and hope you guys have a lovely day.